Okay, everybody. So what we're going to do today is an experiential. It's not really a meditation. It's uh, it's an experiment. So I want to do this experiment. Um, you want to get as quiet as you can in a place that's as quiet as, as you can help, you know, easily locate. Um, if that means you're in a train station, then you're in a train station, and that's fine. Uh, if you can get somewhere where, where you can be uh, alone and uh, there's not too much else going on, that would be helpful. If you can't, you can't. So we want to take advantage of current, con current conditions if they might encourage a sense of thoughtfulness. And we, but we don't want to demand that anything, uh, anything of the arising in order for our experiment to be uh, successful because it actually can't not be successful if we really do it the way that I have planned. So, there's this darkness. This darkness, it doesn't feel closed to me, so I would call it open. does not appear to be actually bounded. Can you find a boundary to this darkness? No. You can't find a boundary to this darkness. You can imagine one, but we're not imagining here. We're noticing what is really here, what we can know for ourselves. There is no boundary. A sense of boundary may be, but a sense of something is not the same thing as the truth of something. The sense of a boundary means that you're making one up. And we're not here to make up things. We're just here to notice what's already here. So we'll just say this is a, there is a dark field. Now let's try to go to the edge of the dark field. Let's try to find the edge of the dark field. Let's see if there's a border. I notice that there is no border at all. Now, in the absence of a border, how could there be a center? We me measure, quote, center as that which is equidistant to the edges. And there are no edges here. No border, no edges. No center. In the absence of a center, do you notice that there is no body? It may feel like there's a body. but let's investigate that. Could you possibly 
Can you find a body? Do, does the sense of touch indicate that there's a body? My legs are crossed, my hands are folded. Or so I believe. That there's just a sensation. And then there's my interpretation, which I'm overlaying that sensation with. And I'm resorting to something called memory, which means I'm resorting to something that is not here. There's only here now. Do you see that? Notice that there is only here now. Notice that the darkness is not cold. It's not scary. It's actually rather warm. That is not just friendly. The darkness is loving. And the mind will instantly go to the fact that the darkness is loving the body. You're not the body. There is no body here. There is conditioned space, but there's no hard body at the center of the patterns here. There's no Fred in the middle of Hurricane Fred. There's only an absence of storm, just like a hurricane. There's an absence here. But the absence can't actually be experienced. because it's not here. Can we imagine? I said the word imagine. Can we notice? Notice right now. that you can't notice absence. You cannot experience a negative. The void is a void. There's no one to experience anything, and there's nothing to experience. That's the very definition of a void, I believe. Notice again that there's no body. There may be a sense of a breathing pattern. There may be a sense of a breathing pattern, but it's certainly not yours, is it? You don't own the breathing pattern. When I say you, I'm just using conventional language so that we can get something done here, so to speak. What we're really is trying to get something undone here. C. 
seeing through the illusion of body. Touch is not yours. Hearing is not yours. Tasting is not yours. Thoughts are not yours. Seeing, even this present seeing of a dark field, is not yours. We can notice that there is a dark field. But when we do, we can notice that there's nothing to say about it. just an open, silent, dark field. Hearing is not yours. There's a story here about a unit that has tinnitus or tinnitus. And therefore there's a thought that I can hear ringing. Hearing is not mine. Whatever is heard at this moment, notice that underneath it, there is a still quietness, still silence. How would silence ever come to notice itself? There's something beyond silence. We can imagine silence. We can't imagine what's prior to silence.
how would stillness come to recognize itself? We can imagine stillness. We can notice stillness, we can notice silence. But there is a silence underneath any sound that you can hear, including the sound of this voice. The words that are being spoken here, they're like little rubber balls. that bounce upon a plane of silence. The silence is always here. The little balls come and go. And prior to their coming, and after they have gone, That is, that is silence. But it can't be experienced because you are that silence. What is the silent silence? That's as far as language will take it. What is motion? It's a ripple. It's a ripple upon a boundless sea. But the ripples never hit anything because there's no boundary. The ripples appear to move. But even if they do, Notice that this boundless sea, lake, ocean, does not itself change. It just appears to, as ripples move across the surface or at least appear to. Any idea that you are that body, look at that right now and notice it is an idea. The body is not something you can notice The body is actually something you can invent. But you don't really invent it. There's no inventor. It's just a happening. And the happening of the apparent body, That's the avatar into this virtual world.
and there is a sense of being. Everyone here notice there's a sense of aliveness here. You can't not notice it because that which is trying to notice it and that which is claiming that it can't is that itself. There is experiencing only after the appearance which comes and goes of consciousness, the appearance that comes and goes of body, and the experience that comes and goes, which is a sense of being. But the sense of something is not the same as the truth of something. There is a sense of being, but it's not the body's sense of being. The senses of the body wholly manufactured, wholly manufactured, body, world, tree, fish, sky, space, time, and the world that we have hitherto been bombarded with comes in to cover up that sense of being, that sense of being being. this deepest being before the body before the world before the character There's just a sense of being, being. And notice that this sense is cl as close as we can get to noticing that still, silent, void, that without movement, without sound, is nonetheless like a cauldron from which everything else flows. Only there's not anything else. There's only that cauldron. 
and a cauldron is not right because it's not a cauldron. It's unnamed. It's unnameable. It is the potentiality for being, for lifing, for life. Potentiality is true. What we think of as everything else, which is not other than the potential. The potential springs from there without leaving there. This whole experiencing this is the dream. That with a capital T. Has dreamed. Has dreamed it woke up. Has dreamed it as being. Has dreamed that there's relativity has dreamed that is, it is trillions of objects that really exist when they really don't. But the dream says they do. But notice that you can't prove that there's an that there is an object here. The dream begins again, if it hasn't already, then it will when we open the eyes. Open the eyes now and notice None of this means anything, as A Course in Miracles says. Because it isn't. It is only experiencing, experiencing. It is experiencing, experiencing experiencing. If we say this is it, we can say that this is it in regard to experiencing. But there's something prior to experiencing. Experiencing comes and goes. It was not here prior to the body. I suggest it will not be here after the body. It comes and goes. What experiences arising from does not come, does not go. It doesn't present itself because it's silent and still. It is really silence and stillness.
Let's go now before the thinking mind kicks in. Love you. Thank you for being here with me.